You may be surprised to learn that hearing aids are one of the best, if not the best, forms of treatment for tinnitus. Yet, most of you out there suffering with tinnitus today won't have even considered them as being a solution for you. So in this video, I'm going to show you the different styles of tinnitus hearing aids and explain how they'll help you. I'll explain whether or not you're suitable for them, and I'll even demonstrate with sound files the unique tinnitus features that each hearing aid manufacturer has built into their hearing aids. Now, I've got to start off by telling you that you are not alone when it comes to suffering with tinnitus. In fact, 10 to 15% of the world's population suffers with tinnitus, which if we were to look at the US alone with those figures, that's between 32 to 49 million people. Now, I don't think that it's a coincidence that an estimated 16% of the US population also suffers with some form of hearing loss, with tinnitus often being a common side effect. I'm personally in a slightly different category, as I suffer with a high-pitched tinnitus that sounds something like this. However, my hearing levels are all within normal limits. This sound of tinnitus is known as a tonal tinnitus, and it's the most common type of tinnitus. And for those of you out there interested in measuring yours, it can easily be done using a frequency sweep, which I'll demonstrate for you now. So keep your volume set so that the sound is just about audible, and for the next 60 seconds, you'll hear the lowest sound that the human ear can hear from to its highest pitch. And out of interest, let me know in the comments the closest pitch that matches your tinnitus. So, which was the closest pitch to your tinnitus? Let me know in the comments and share it with everybody else watching this video. So you're possibly wondering how hearing aids can help and if they're the best possible treatment for you. Now I say treatment because sadly there is no known cure for tinnitus, but plenty of proven ways to make it less intrusive and transforming it from being at the forefront of your mind all the time and something that you struggle to escape from to being something that's just there in the back of your mind but has no negative impact on your life on a daily basis, which is technically how I would categorize my tinnitus. 
So hearing aids help to reduce tinnitus in two main ways. Firstly, if you have a hearing loss, then hearing aids should be programmed to that loss and therefore fill the void of sound that's not being sent from your ear to your brain. This filling in of missing sound will mask your tinnitus and I would say it works for around 60 to 70% of the patients that I see with tinnitus and hearing loss combined. Secondly, hearing aids can be used for sound enrichment therapy or masking. And this is where each hearing aid manufacturer have their own types of sound enrichment in order to mask your tinnitus, which I'll demonstrate each and every one of them today. These sounds can range from different types of noises to nature sounds. So you're about to see and hear, more importantly, exactly what each hearing aid manufacturer offers. Widex have historically been strong forerunners as the best hearing aids for tinnitus for years now. And this all started when they introduced their Zen sounds way back when in 2012. And have recently continued to add to their tinnitus features with the introduction of a feature called Sound Relax. At the time of making this video, the Widex moment is Widex's latest hearing aid. And it's available in a range of different styles, which includes their RIC 10, S RIC RD, and their RIC 312D. Then going for their behind the ear models, it includes the BT312, BT13D, and their BTRD. We then finally come to their custom models, such as their CIC and ITE hearing aids. The style of hearing aid that you're comfortable wearing is a very personal thing. And some patients prefer a behind the ear model, whilst others prefer an in the ear hearing aid. You must remember that the suitability of a hearing aid is also determined by your hearing test results, so your audiologist themselves should recommend the most appropriate style for you based on three factors. Number one, your preference. Number two, your hearing test results. And then number three is your lifestyle as different hearing aid styles can give you access to different features. Widex's tinnitus features are available across all of their technology levels, from their 440s, 330s, 220s and 110s, with the 440s being the most advanced of all of their technology. Now, whilst you can choose from a white noise sound, which is similar to other hearing aid manufacturers, Widex are mainly known for their Zen and Sound Relax sounds which all need to be activated by your audiologist in the Compass GPS hearing aid fitting software. The Zen therapy concept is unique to Widex and involves using fractal tones, which are random, harmonic and melodic tones that sound a little bit like wind chimes. I'll demonstrate them for you shortly. As they're unpredictable, your brain doesn't associate the sound with any other conventional music or sounds which you may have been exposed to. In itself, this encourages overcoming the negative effects caused by your tinnitus. Jumping into the Compass GPS software, you'll note that I've added a program called Zen, which is this flower in the top left corner of the screen. As we click into this program, it reveals the various Zen therapies that you can choose from. You can choose from Zen Aqua, Zen Coral, Zen Green, Zen Lavender, Zen Sand, and finally you can choose the Zen Noise. As I mentioned earlier, Widex recently introduced their newest sound relax sounds, which Widex state will help you to regain your inner peace with a great new world of relaxing sounds. Not only is Widex sound relax designed to help all hearing aid wearers, both with and without tinnitus, but Widex claim that they will also help you to deal with anxiety and they'll soothe your mind and also boost your concentration levels. So starting with winter, Blossom. Summer. Swells. Seaside. Spring.
autumn. And finally, breeze. You should have noticed that the sounds are completely random in nature, which is one of the reasons that I find that tinnitus sufferers tend to respond very well to the Widex Zen sounds. Oticon call their tinnitus feature tinnitus sound support. And Oticon's latest hearing aids to feature these tinnitus features are available in a range of different styles, including their receiver and canal real Mini Right R and Mini Right T, their behind the ear Mini BTE R and Mini BTE T, and their tinnitus features are also available in their custom family, such as the CIC, ITC, and ITE models. As long as both a push button and NFMI are requested by your audiologist upon ordering the hearing aid. And then finally, we have their Power BT family, the Exceeds. So this technically means that it's not available in any hearing aid without a push button or NFMI, including their pretty popular Invisible in Canal model. Oticon's tinnitus sound support features are available across their different technology levels. So from level one, two, and three, again with the former being the most advanced of their tech. To activate your tinnitus settings, you'll need to work with your audiologist in Oticon's Genie 2 hearing aid fitting software, as this isn't something that you can add yourself via the app without consulting your audiologist first. The reason for this is because you could technically expose yourself to dangerously high levels of sound. You can see here, as I navigate across the tinnitus section of Oticon software, there are two different categories of tinnitus relief, broadband and nature sounds which are both more traditional masking styles than those discussed from Widex. In total, there are four different broadband sounds to choose from, starting with shaped, which is designed to match the pattern of your hearing test results, and it will specifically fill the voids that are created by your hearing loss. Of all of Oticon's noises to choose from, I find that patients react particularly well to this as a masker as it's tailored to your individual hearing test results. As well as this tailored sound, Oticon also allow you to choose from a white noise, pink noise, or red noise. When it comes to choosing from the various types of masking noises, it's a good idea to sit with your audiologist, play with them in clinic, and see which is the most effective at distracting you from your tinnitus. If we then head over to the nature sounds, you can see that there are three different types of ocean sounds. which all have a slightly different acoustic response. As with other hearing aid manufacturers, you can choose the volume of masking to suit your needs. Plus, it's possible to set up a dedicated masking program. In this program, you can decide if you only hear the masking sound or if you want to enable sound from the environment around you as well. Phonak approached their tinnitus treatment in a very similar way to Oticon, with fewer options, but a little bit more flexibility. They call their tinnitus feature Tinnitus Balance, and it's available across Phonax family of up-to-date hearing aids, which is incredibly vast. However, there are a few exceptions, so I'll try and keep this list as short as possible. So, from the receiver and canal hearing aids, you have the Ordeo Lumity Slim, the Lumity R, Lumity RT, and the Lumity Life, to their behind-the-ear styles, the Naida Lumity PR and UP, plus the Sky Lumity PR and UP. Now, similarly to Oticon, there are limitations on the custom models, but it can be enabled on their smallest titanium model as long as it has a program button. As with all other manufacturers, the tinnitus feature needs enabling by your audiologist on Phonak's target hearing aid fitting software. Yet, differently to all other manufacturers, Phonak's focuses on providing you with broadband sounds rather than nature sounds that we saw with the likes of Oticon. In my opinion, their selection of three is a little bit disappointing, However, as I mentioned before, there's a lot of tailoring that can be done to those sounds. 
Clicking on that tinnitus section in the target software, you can see that the first option is to set their masking sound to hearing loss. which is similar to the shaped tinnitus feature from Oticon, matching your specific hearing loss. And as I mentioned before, I do tend to find that patients prefer this option to the others. We then have the white noise. And then finally, pink noise. Whilst the hearing aid software will estimate the most appropriate intensity of masking for your hearing loss, it's possible to increase or decrease it further still. Taking this one step further, Phonec also allow further customization of the frequency response using the graphic equalizer to add more or less bass, mids or treble according to your needs. Starkey's tinnitus program is called Multiflex and is available in all of their newest Genesis AI family of hearing aids even their smallest IIC, as long as you've got access to their T2 app. So from their receiver and canal hearing aids, we have the Starkey Genesis AI MRIC R, their MRIC RT, and their RIC 312. And then from their custom styles, the IIC, CIC, ITC, Half Shell, and ITE. So Starkey have a huge selection of styles to choose from, plus it's built into all technology levels again. As with all of the technology discussed today, again, the settings need to be activated by your audiologist in the Starkey ProFit fitting software. And you have the choice of three different types of masking to choose from, audiogram shaped, white noise, or customized which allows the shaping of the multiflex tinnitus stimulus for a personalized signal with an even greater degree of precision. In front of you now is the setup process, which involves, first of all, establishing the minimum detection level for masking. So finding the level in which you can no longer hear the masking sound. This is a little bit like performing a three point audiogram. However, with narrow band sounds instead of pure tones, as you would in a standard hearing test. After this has been established, the same sounds are then increased to find a minimum masking level, which is identified when you can no longer perceive your tinnitus. This programs the hearing aids with your hearing thresholds versus the tinnitus masking level and creates a masking sound customized to your specific tinnitus and is the most tailored out of today's selection for exactly that reason. As with phone Akinoticon, the audiogram shape signal will use your specific hearing thresholds to shape the masking sound around your loss. And as I mentioned before, it's great because it reduces the likelihood of the signal being either too loud or too soft in different frequencies and can help to account for a loss of low frequency sound with any acoustic leakage in more open fittings. Starkey's white noise signal is still personalized to an extent as it's based on the average of your hearing test results, known as your pure tone average. And it provides an equal energy distribution across all frequency ranges. The challenge that I find with white noise with any hearing aid manufacturer is that a flat response may sometimes result in elements of the sound being too loud or too soft if you don't have a perfectly flat hearing loss. And so that's why I like that Starkey allow you to tweak specific bands of noise and adjust the modulation according to your preferences. Now I think it's great that Signia's tinnitus therapy features are available in all the styles. Although you do have to take a step back in technology for you to be able to access some of them. For example, it's available in their Pure Charge and Go IX, their Pure Charge and Go TIX, and their Silk IX, which are their most up-to-date family of hearing aids. Plus their Motion BTE hearing aids, and the Inseo NX IIC, CIC, and ITE, which are older technologies. Again, Signia's tinnitus therapy is available in all styles and all technology levels, and needs to be programmed via their Connex hearing aid fitting software. They offer three different strategies against tinnitus, depending on which is the most appropriate for you. That's static noise therapy, ocean wave therapy, and then Signia's unique tinnitus notch therapy. The static noise tinnitus therapy signals include five preset noise signals, plus the ability to personalize the sound to meet your specific needs. With Signia, you can choose from white noise, pink noise,
speech noise. High tone noise. Or Brownian noise. Secondly, Signia have four different ocean wave therapy signals, which are designed to mimic the sound of the sea, including Boulder Beach, Rocky Beach, Pebble Beach. and Paradise Beach One of the specific things that I like about these different ocean wave-like sounds is again they don't have too much of a pattern to them so most of my tinnitus patients do tend to find them very relaxing and also less annoying than some of the standard white noise sounds that are out there Finally and uniquely to Siglia you can access their tinnitus notch therapy and I found that this method of tinnitus therapy can be pretty effective depending on the individual. The TNT technique is designed for those experiencing a tonal tinnitus that we were talking about at the beginning of this video, such as a ringing, whistling, or buzzing. And it's different to using any of Signia's masking sounds as the concept behind TNT therapy isn't to drown out the sound with other sound, but actually to teach your brain how to ignore it completely. Signia claim that the frequency of your tinnitus is targeted and amplification of the sound is actually turned down and relegated to background noise, making it easier for your brain to ignore your tinnitus. In theory, this means that you don't waste your energy on your tinnitus and your stress levels should be reduced as you're not actively trying to shut it out. And now, here's the crazy part. Unlike ocean wave and static noise sound therapies, this method is done completely inaudibly so you might not even realize that you're going through the sound therapy when you're experiencing it. The setup process for tinnitus notch therapy is unique to Signia, and similarly to the tinnitus match and mask diagnostic tool, this process allows your audiologist to identify the specific frequency of your tinnitus. The process works by presenting you with two different signals of which you have to choose from the closest match to your tinnitus, with the process being repeated until the tone of your tinnitus is matched which is then the basis of Signia's tinnitus notch therapy. Oh, I like ReSound's tinnitus sound generator, as it is without question one of the most versatile out there, putting you, the hearing aid user, in the driver's seat when it comes to adjusting the settings on your hearing aids. The latest take from ReSound is their Nexia family of hearing aids, which was released in the US towards the tail end of 2023, and their tinnitus features are currently available in their RIE 13, the RIE 312, and the Nexia Micro RIE. It's also available in their latest BTE models, the Enzo QSP and Enzo QHP, and then all of their custom models as long as they have Bluetooth functionality. Again, the tinnitus features are available for all technology levels and needs to be activated through ReSound's Smart Fit hearing aid fitting software. As you can see here in ReSound software, ReSound have two categories of tinnitus masking sounds. Firstly, they're broadband sounds with four different types of noise to choose from. This includes high frequency noise, white noise, speech noise, and pink noise. I'm not joking when I say that ReSound have so much flexibility with their setup, with both you and your audiologist being able to personalize the masking sounds, looking at both the amplitude modulation, modulation speed, and even the range of pitches included within the noise. It doesn't have a customizable process like we saw with the likes of Starkey or Signia. However, using the handles manually, this process can be equally effective to tailor the right sound for you. As you can see here with the second type of sound enrichment, ReSound have their selection of nature sounds too, which are again different types of ocean waves, similar to that of Oticon and Signia. Now there are six in total, ranging from breaking waves, to 
Water Creek. Calming Waves. Beach Surf. Ocean. And then finally shoreline. In my opinion, the very first place that you should start looking into overcoming your tinnitus is by getting your hearing tested. So get yourself booked in with an audiologist. And when I say audiologist, I mean preferably somebody that knows a little bit about tinnitus and also specifically optimizing hearing aids related to tinnitus which is in fact quite specialist, so make sure you do your research first. Hearing aids alone can be a huge help in terms of treating your tinnitus, and employing tinnitus retraining therapy can increase the chances of helping you to overcome your tinnitus even further. The best thing for you to do is to work closely with your audiologist to identify which masking sound is the most effective for you. However, if you don't think that you're ready for hearing aids just yet, then you might want to look at this pretty mind-blowing alternative tinnitus treatment. 